rock legend, Brian Adams. Good evening. It's a long way to the top if you want to be in country music, and even longer if you want to cross over into pop music, as the recipient of tonight's Hall of Fame award found out. From humble beginnings, her strength of character and her belief in the music would take her out of Timmins, Ontario, to the world stage. You know what I'm talking about, but if not, here are a few clues. She writes her songs. She's beautiful. She knows how to work a wood chipper. She's a Canadian treasure. Check out the video. that I never even set out to reach. Shania Twain's rise to superstardom reads like a fairy tale, but it's all true. What a woman was. Shania was raised in the northern town of Timmins, Ontario by loving parents, but times were tough for the family. No lunch at school, kind of grouping food and rations, you know. Her professional career started at the tender age of eight, performing in local bars. I grew up in smoky bars and bar fights lugging around a guitar that was bigger than I was. Her first big break was on the Tommy Hunter TV show. By her early 20s, she was performing at the Deerhurst Resort in Ontario. By 1993, Shania had a recording contract with Mercury Records in Nashville. With it, the release of her first album. And the Shania effect had begun to take hold. When I first came out with What Made You Say That, that's where it all began. It was open midriff. I didn't even know then that I was one of the first to do it. I didn't realize. Her debut album and her image attracted Nashville's attention. This led to her breakthrough follow-up album, The Woman in Me, with the hit single, Any Man of Mine. Any Man of Mine was absolutely a turning point in my career, there's no doubt about it. She was fresh, she was different, she was unlike anybody else out there. Yeah, in 1997, Shania made music history with the release of Come On Over, which proved to be a crossover sensation. It became the most successful album ever by a female artist. Also, the biggest selling country album of all time. That don't impress me much. Shania Twain raised the profile of country music. Stepping away from the spotlight for a couple of years, Shania is back. She's ready to make music again. Written an autobiography due out in May, and she even has her own TV show on the Oprah Winfrey Network. You are why I wanted to do this, and um, just getting to give you a video message. I'm really excited about it, and I'm really excited for you. So congratulations! Congratulations, Shania. Well done. There's no denying that the little girl from Timmins, Ontario, has impacted popular music. Shania has earned her place in the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to welcome the newest member of the Canadian Music Hall of Fame, Shania Twain.
really am turning into such a staff. <sighs> but this uh, is just a very beautiful moment for me. I am I'm really so proud of Canada's talent. I sit, I sit here tonight in the audience uh, and I watch these amazing artists up here on the stage, world-class talent, songwriters, singers, performers. We should be proud of these people. Uh, they're just blowing me away and I guess I have more pride in what the country has uh, created musically uh, than I am even of my own success. Uh, honestly, I'm just more proud to be from Canada, to be a part of everything that's happening here musically. This is a beautiful country. Um, before I carry on talking about Canada, because I just, I feel like I should just be wearing the Canadian flag tonight, to be honest. <laughs> Um, listen, Brian, uh, thank you so much for being here for me. Brian is a beautiful friend. I loved him even before I knew him because I was in love with his voice before I even ever had the chance to meet him in person. And I love you now and I just thank you so much for doing this for me. Uh, I want to thank Randy Lennox. Thank you for being there from the very beginning. It's been a lot of years gone by. Tyson Parker, thank you. You're a fabulous person. We've had a lot of laughs together. I want to thank also Canadian Radio. You have supported me tremendously. Thank you so much. Um, especially to country, uh, to country Radio, honestly. Um, you stood by me, and I appreciate that so much when I was really on the edge, practically. But CMT, thank you. And I want to just say for Canada, listen, I love our lakes. I uh, love our bush, and most of all, I love our people. Thank you.